Hey, what's going on, gang? Zach Wild. Dario. Mama Dario over here, Black Little Society. Uh, we're going to play you a song now. This is off the new album, uh, Doom Crew Incorporated. It's a tune called uh, Set You Free. It's uh, We're tuning to C sharp, the Sabbath tuning. The heaviest and the lowest of all tunings. Just so I give you a tune up, here's your low E. Here's your A, D, G, B, here's your E. So uh, there's your tuning right there. So we're gonna play uh, Set You Free, we'll do some of the chords, and then we'll play the solo, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. All right, here we go. I've seen people tagging me in on on Set You Free, but it's just like. The 
playing it like that, but it's... You know, so I mean, I'm just saying, just chord voicings and stuff like that, which is, which is always awesome. You always learn things the hardest way possible, and then you realize, no, it's not like that at all. You know what I mean? Like we were talking about before, spirit, you know, spirit. I remember learning it like that. It's with open, it's all, and then once you learn it right, you're like, oh, now I, now it sounds the way it's supposed to sound. But I mean, uh, you always end up learning things the hard way, you know, with these big stretches and everything, and you go, wow, it's not that at all. Like if you have 64 crayons, just take out the 60 crayons and you leave four left. And like, let's see what you can do with four crayons. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, I mean, look, Keith Richards. I mean, he takes, he's actually gets rid of the low E string. You know what I mean? So even he even has less to work with. I mean, it's it's great blazing and everything like that. But as far as writing goes, I mean, when you could just try and write something with two strings, write a riff or anything like that. You know what I mean? So it's just uh, it, that's the whole thing. So I mean, it's just like try and keep it as simple as possible. I mean, like even with this song, I mean, there's only there's really just two parts to the song. The chorus is the verse. There is no, there is no other part. There's a, there you have the, the verse, a pre-chorus, and the, the chorus, is, and the chorus is actually the verse riff, is the main riff. So just try and keep things as simple as possible. What it starts with is the octave line. I guess we'll just play it right now. I mean, you know, this obviously, So that's the solo section right there. But I mean, uh, the actual line that we're playing, you ready, Dave? One, two, three, four. I mean, as far as me, with, with my, my solo section, obviously we're in E minor, so it's E minor pentatonic. That's what my part is there, and then I go back. Rhythm D, you want to play yep, your part? So, okay, so uh, uh, let me see. Um, we'll just play the solo section. I'll play that, you know, we'll, we'll do it slow. I'll play my solo section. We'll take it from here, though. The last one. One, two, three, four. Play that one slow for him, you can show him how to do it. Yeah, so starts here, second position, pentatonic E minor. Um, and then this fast run is. You must practice scales. I got that one right, thankfully. Okay, very good. I'm very proud of you. So that's Dario's part there, and then the second part, what I, the little picking thing I do here, we'll take it, well, I'll take it from your climb up and then go to rhythm and then I'll play that part. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Part my, my section here just obviously. E minor, you know, E minor diatonic. 
but it's just This, this part here, it's kind of like miming like what a whammy bar would sound, but I got, actually got this lick from Elliot Easton. I mean, Elliot Easton's an amazing player. I mean, just tasty chops to the whole nine yards. And just so unique. I mean, it's amazing. But uh, I remember always learning this lick going, what is, what is he doing there? You know, but I remember... He, I mean, it's just an effect, really. But it's just... Yeah, so. You know, so that's what that's what that uh just, you know, just a silly little thing, but I mean I got that from LED. So. But uh, that's that, and then uh, I guess what we got the, the last part with uh, Father Daryl over here. You want? I'll just play you. Okay. Rhythm for yep. you on the last part. One, two, three, four. <laughs> then we got the next bit. But you want to yep. just explain that one? Yeah. So E minor pentatonic, starting with the blues note. That pentatonic, like you must listen to John McLaughlin and Frank Marino, <laughs> yeah. apparently, obviously. But uh, yeah, so uh, and then I guess the last lick is another pentatonic thing. Good. Almost kind of like you know, it's a combination of I guess good times, bad times with uh, Pope Page and Saint Rhodes with Mr. Crowley. You know, you're. I mean, it's been done a million. You know, it's just a classic pentatonic. Gary Moore, you know, uses it as well. So, I mean, it's just, uh... Same thing. So, uh, I guess we'll just, why don't we just do that last part? You play your solo and then we'll go into that last bit. All right. One, two, three, four. Oh, and that's how it's done. All right, this is uh, Zach Wild. Dario. And uh, Black Level Society. You got a new album, Doom Crew Incorporated, coming out. Thanks for uh, rolling with us. And uh, thanks to Guitar World for letting us do the hang, man. All right, everybody keep shredding. Keep doing your thing, man.